And let's see. If anybody comes in, hey, bunch of carrots, how are you? How are you today? Hey, Ronnie and Virginia Gardner, how are you? I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. It was pretty low key here, but it was good. So we still haven't had Christmas with my brother's family. We'll do that later. So anyway, hey, April. Hey, Jennifer. Oh. Did you all have a Merry Christmas? Oh, I bought me some little copper earrings this morning. Well, not little. They're real long and dangly, but I got them. At, hey, Anna, how are you? I got them at Walmart. They were on clearance for a dollar. So, Hey, Cindy McCoy, how are you? Did you get your package, Cindy? I like them. I got two pairs. Hi, Anita. Hi, Cheryl. Not yet. It should be there pretty soon. Uh, I'll I'll check the tracking on it and look so and see so so I got a shop goodwill box um there's one piece of jewelry that's not in here that I already claim for me so anyway but uh um I paid sixty one dollars total for it it came from Corpus Christi and um I'll definitely get my money back out of it but I was really disappointed because it looked like I could see some silver and stuff in it. And I was hoping to find James Avery and I did not <laughs> So anyway, I, but I found some cool things. I found a lot of vintage uh, clip on and screw on earrings a lot for a, a shop goodwill box. And uh, I just found some cool things. I did find, um, I think one set that I can sell one bracelet and necklace set that I can sell for enough to pay for the whole box. So, anyway, so I'm going to show y'all what I got. And I, I'm looking down in my box and not looking at the camera here. So, we'll start here. Um, and I got these. They're clip-on Monet earrings. And they're nice. They look like a, a wheat sheath. And they're gold tone. So... Oh, and I got these, and I had to repair them because the back came off of one of them, but I, uh, I got them fixed. Um, this is cool. It's vintage, and um, it's real psychedelic, kind of. It's got that. It's just a silver disc with the um, holographic-looking disc there in it, and uh, it's got a spring ring. It's like a charm bracelet kind of thing, so... Anyway, it's neat. So these here are not signed. They are screw back. They're just little leafy patterns. <laughs> they would you'd wear them like that. I was looking, I was thinking, that looks like boobies. Anyway, I've been hanging around hanging around my husband too long. <laughs> That's silly. And these are clip-ons, little wire. They have little things there. These are neat. I was sure they were silver, but they're just as magnetic as they can be. And they're screw back. Now, I got some cool little charms. Let's see here. Okay, we've got Sylvester, the kitty cat. Tweety Bird. Oops. Tweety Bird. And the Tasmanian Devil. And they're all marked and stamped Time Warner on the back of them. Um, this is a 
what I call a Charm and Charlie set. So now this is a neat little set. It's um a fish brooch pendant and then it has matching earrings and uh, it's cute it's sweet i like it and i thought this might be silver but it's not either and it's really calla lily in there so in the in the, the silver barrel beads so anyway Guys, if you know anybody that is not subscribed to my channel, please ask them to come to sub. I am four people away from 500 marks. So uh, these are just some little clip-ons. And they have like a cutout pattern in them. A leaf with a cutout pattern. Kind of cool. These here, I think they're kids, but they're really cute. They they have little plastic backs on them, so they make me think they're a kids with the little um, silver with the little uh, enamel heart. So, and this is pretty, and it's really heavy, but it's not magnetic, but it's not silver. It, I think it's pewter. So, anyway, and there's a whole bunch of these, and I had them laid in here, and they're little cow charms there's a whole whole bunch of them they're so cute anyway and i like these they're uh uh real modernist looking mod i like them i thought they were might be silver but they're not and this is a cool bracelet charm bracelet with it's got green metal which it's supposed to be green it's not verdigris with the green heart, uh, crosses, and then it's got crosses here, and then the little faux pearls and gold, antique to gold. It's a pretty charm bracelet. It's busy and dingly dangly sounding. And let's see, this is a double strand uh, long necklace, almost hoo ha length, but not quite. Anyway, just bees. <laughs> And I thought this was pretty, and y'all know I'm not a huge bead fan, but I thought these were real pretty, this, um, this drop in the thing there. I don't wear stuff like this because I got a neck like a football player. Now, this right here disappointed me because I don't know how I can fix it, but I love it. This is one of those, these are little baskets, and there's little crystals inside of them. But there's no way to attach them to an earring or anything. And I'm so disappointed because they're so stinking cool. I want them fixed. Anyway. Uh, this one here is a watch with this. Uh, it's like a suede leather animal print band. And it says Novell. Which they, I think April looked that up for me yesterday, didn't you, April? And it don't shelf, shelf for very much. This is cool. Uh, I think it's a scarf holder thingy. I think you put your scarves through here. Or like a bolo. And it's a cowboy hat with rhinestones. And it, it actually twirls. I think that's neat. So, anyway. So did anybody get any special jewelry for Christmas? I know April did. She's done showed it to me. So, how about y'all? Did y'all get special jewelry for Christmas? Um, I did not get, well, I bought myself a ring for Christmas, and I showed it to y'all, that, that little turtle ring that I've been wearing, but I didn't get any jewelry. So, anybody, anybody? Have I froze up? Am I froze up? Actually, let's go this way. Hi, Tati's Closet. How are you? There we go. I have a headache this morning. Bunch of carrots. You got a simple sterling ring. Very nice. I love sterling silver. I love it. In fact, I've started wearing, y'all know I'm always wearing, finding jewelry when I sort through. And this did not come in this lot. I don't remember what lot I got this in, but it was black. I mean, the ring was just black. 
and I looked at it, I thought, that is sterling, and I polished it up, and oh, it polished up so pretty, you can see the back of it's nice and pretty sterling, and it looks like that, and so I've been wearing it, um, I'll wear it for a while, it's really, it's a six, it's what it feels like, and a six is just a little too small, but I put my wedding rings on it, and I don't take it off, so, anyway, and then, I. Uh, It was good, Tati. Uh, it was the first Christmas since my dad died. Hey, Saint Nancy, how are you? Uh, first Christmas since my dad died. My mom didn't go for family Christmas, but um, she insisted that we go. So we spent Christmas Eve day with her, and then we spent the rest of Christmas Day after we had lunch with the, uh, uh, my dad's extended family. So, got some Betsy Johnson pieces for Christmas. Very nice. Very nice. Um, one of the videos I've done, you got five crystal... I don't... What's the last word? Five crystal STR. Is that stretch bracelets? Box full... A box full for him, so that definitely counts. Look, I got this on Christmas Eve. Stretch. Five, five crystal stretch bracelets. Oh, wait till I get into the, the beads over here. I got some beautiful beads with this lot. So, anyway, I think that needs to go in here. So, no, it goes back over there. Anyhow, so, um, the, here's another one. It says, um, refuse to sink, and then it's got anchors on it and across uh it's probably made by a christian jewelry company it's kind of cool so anyway um these are kind of uh, neat they're clip on and they are enameled gold and enameled they're very neat so we're going to april did you stay april 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 did you stay we're going to start up the auctions um not new year's eve but the next monday after that in april i think it's going to have an auction then so uh but we're i think we're just do i'm just doing one a month so mine will probably be the next monday after that but it'll be the only one i do but <clears throat> i'm just doing the one if y'all missed uh, the purse pop-up sale that i put up i still have all three of those purses and they're brand new purses there's a Vera Bradley, a Bueno's Closet, and a um, Sag Harbor purse. Brand new. They're all new. Uh, the Sag Harbor doesn't have its tags on it, but it still has its little push me cards, ID cards in it. The, all the, both of the other ones still have tags on them. So here's a little clamper bracelet. Another thing that I hoped would be silver, and this one too, and they're not. Hey, Jude, how are you? Did you have a Merry Christmas, my friend? I thought this was cool. Um, it's just a pendant, a star pendant, highly magnetic. Look at this kitty cat. And I thought this would be silver. And then here's an angel, too. And they look and feel like they've been cut out of thin silver. But I guess it's just tin because it's not magnetic, but they did not test for silver. I tested them. So, anyway, they smell like silver, though. Do you ever smell your jewelry? <laughs> I know I'm weird and I think this is neat now it doesn't ha it's don't have a jump ring but I can put I mean not a jump ring a, a, a dingle dangle a hoop hoop a hoop or a fish hook but it's little keys and locks and that's just plastic heart but I thought it was cute and there are two of them so here's some more clip ons Lots and lots of clip-ons. Lots of vintage clip-ons. This is a pretty little necklace. It is Avon. And those stones in that are pale blue. So pale they almost look clear. But they are pale blue. They're beautiful. But it, I'm positive it said Avon. I may be wrong. It don't say nothing on it. So Now this was, I thought this was a special piece. Isn't that cute? That little brooch, little um, seahorse. 
abalone seahorse. I thought he was sweet. And there was an abalone bracelet that I kept for me that is um, abalone sea turtles. So it came out of the box and went right on my wrist. And I wore it on Christmas Day. It's in my bedroom and on my jewelry table. So More clip-ons. These are cool. Um, and they're clip-on. Let's see. I've just got them clipped together. So... It's got like the little turquoise looking, uh, almost like petit point stones. And then around it makes a hoop. Let me pull it out so it don't look so weird. But I thought they were cool. Bracelets, yes. You hate stretch jewelry. They always break on me. Oh, my Lord. Yesterday, uh, we were, me and April were chit-chatting. Hey, guys, let me just tell y'all, if, if I, you may not be into it at all. But, um. I do Facebook, and me and April, a lot of times, we just chit-chat in the afternoon. We do Facebook time and stuff like that. So if you ever just want to talk to me, I love talking on Facebook time. Uh, FaceTiming, that is so fun to me. So Because I sit at my desk nearly all day anyway. So I like these. I think they're cool. What do y'all think? What do you think? So anyway. So anyway, the story was me and April were talking as I was going through this and sorting it. Because I didn't want to go through it live online, open it live online, because um, it was a mess. It was a tangled mess. So um, I had a lot of untangling. So I found a really pretty bracelet. And it had these little cross charms on it. And it was really, really pretty. Hey, Tiki Shante. And uh, I was like, oh, April, isn't that pretty? I said, it's stretched. And about that time, it just all over my keyboard here so it it stretched right out on my keyboard oh here's something that came out of here that there was only one earring and they do match kind of not exactly there's only one so i'm gonna so i'm gonna save this earring and make a pendant out of it but look at this pendant isn't that gorgeous that is so pretty 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 so, yeah, it did. It busted. I mean, it went everywhere. So, yup, yup, it busted. So, anyway, I thought those matched a little better than they did. These are sweet. These little snowman earrings. They're snowman clip-ons. Um, these are cool. These little, um, they're leaves with a mesh, gold mesh flower, and they're clip-on. Let's see. Come on, focus. There you go. They're cool. That's the back of the clip on. So, and these are just classic metal button looking clip ons. These look, these are vintage and they look, they've got a bad glue job on the back of them. So, they may go into a lot of fixer uppers. I may not have to take them apart. This is a pretty bracelet. The beads on this. I found um, two that I can remember that we looked up. April looked them up while I, while I went sorted. P-R-A-O-L-S. And they're a, a story bracelet. You go and order it. And I guess you order it and order what you want and tell your story with it. Anyway, somebody, the ones that, and I think they're religious. It's a religious company, too. Anyway, um, this one is Mary, mother of Jesus, has the ba Mary and the baby Jesus as an infant. And but look at the bead on that. Isn't that a beautiful bead? And these are actually stones of some kind because you can see the pitting in the stone. But I'm not sure what kind of stone that is. Anybody want to guess? We were on Margaret's the other night and every time she'd show a stone, I'd say it's agate. It's agate. Nice like. Okay, and I was like, agate is my guess on all of it. Hey, Adam, how are you? Did you have a Merry Christmas, friend? Now, these are old. These are Castle Cliff. They, that is a vintage company. They're just a leaf, a clip-on leaf. So, um, oh, these are very, these are vintage, and they're very mod-looking, <coughs> modern, uh, mid-century modern. And they are Emmons, which is the precursor to um, 
Sarah Coventry was um, the precursor brand to Sarah Coventry. So, crap. And that's what they look like in their clip. Aren't they neat? I think those are cool. So, I will more than likely be uh, in maybe in January if I can get it all together when I have my auction. Uh, I will be offering a lot of vintage pieces. So, I thought these were neat. These little birdhouses, they're little pewter birdhouses, and they say pewter on the back of them. They're on a fish hook. And I love these. Anita, are you still here? Anita, 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 Anita. Bye, April. Thanks for stopping in, my friend. But you woke up the 26th, so you were sick. Is it? I was wondering if Anita was still here. Because uh, Anita bought a red, white, and blue necktie from me. And as soon as I saw these, I thought of Anita. I thought those will match her necktie, but they're just little, and they're, they're uh, clip-on, and they have the little bar, and they hang me down, so, no, not sick, okay, <laughs> so, so, okay, better, I'll just leave that one alone, Adam, this one was a new brand for me, and uh, if you recognize this brand, uh, April looked it up for me, and um she said that this 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 set right here should sell me for sell for my um my the whole price of it it's i-t-a-o-r i-t-a-o-r a tour a tour a tour <laughs> anyway it is 925 italy it's it is in gold tone but it is silver and then it has a matching bracelet and it has these little uh, barrels that have these little rhinestones in them. At least I'm pretty sure they're just rhinestones. But I will I will get the diamond tester out and test them and make sure before I sell it. So anyway, and they sell the bracelets. She said she saw bracelets selling for about 30. So if the bracelets sell for about 30, I should be able to sell the necklace, sell the set for between 55 and 60, I'm thinking. So Anyway, this is a beautiful, beautiful bracelet, but it is broke. The way to clamp it together is broke. So I'm thinking I'm going to see about getting a magnet and gluing a magnet in here and seeing if that'll keep it. But look at that. It's like cloisonne enamel. Is that not gorgeous? It's butamous. So anyway... This is vintage. It is also in awesome shape. It is a coin necklace. There's a, and I will tell you, it is Avon. There is a woman on that side, and on this side, it is the bicentennial, 19, uh, 1776 to 1976. And then, hey, oh, the box was uh, $61.00 with the shipping that included the shipping it cost me 61 dollars total uh it was shop goodwill it was 10 pounds uh and it came from corpus christi and anyway on the tag it says avon and then it says it has 1776 1976 bicentennial bicentennial so but is that not a beautiful coin necklace the chain i mean it's just in pristine condition beautiful so anyway very very nice so uh i didn't pull everything out of here uh, these are avon uh i pulled most of the interesting stuff out i'm gonna slide this in because i don't want to show y'all y'all know i don't like beads but there was some really cool beads in this so i want to show y'all the beads i kind of separated out the beads so anyway and then there was, I have a whole stack of stuff over here that was not cool. <laughs> so, anyway, that is either um, just not, just cheap beads. But there were pretty beads here. So, and there's some, oh, that, I never found the match to that. And that made me sad. Okay. Some of this is going in my Etsy store. Look at that. 
It's a beautiful. They're heavy, heavy, heavy. They need clean. I may have to. Mm, I don't know how I'm going to clean these because you don't want to drop them in. I may have to just drop them in some uh, um, dishwashing soap because the dirt. Look, the string is even dirty. That makes me mad now. I didn't even notice that. That's pretty. I have a pretty accent. <laughs> I talk about, I talk to this. I have friends that I do Marco Polo with, and I've mentioned Marco Polo before. Anyway, uh, and they're always, I'm always teasing them about their Yankee accents because one of them lives in Michigan and the other one lives in Pennsylvania. And so they're trying to get me to explain what a Yankee accent is. I'm like, it's anything above the Mason Dixon line. So anyway, so, so these are all, let's see, cat's eye just glass beads cat's eye and then i thought those were pretty and they're all on stretchies but they're really pretty beads really really pretty so anyway now these are very interesting and they're glass and they have this hey thelma thrift how are you enjoying your christmas break honey did you have a merry christmas So that's a fun set of beads. Then there was a whole bunch of these and they all just have little stones and stuff and they're plastic, plastic wires. Anyway, this one here was a favorite for me and it is a New York. It's signed New NY and I like it. It's green. And they're plastic beads, but they're really pretty. And this is like, it's a bead with settings. So, watching all your favorite YouTubers all day. I have vegged out. My son came in Friday night. Was not expecting him until Christmas Eve. So, he came in Friday night. And so, I kind of stayed offline while he was home and and I, but I vegged out on TV, and I'm not a TV watcher, but I watch so many episodes of Holiday Bacon Champions, Cookie Champions, all of that. So now I'm feeling real inspired to cook. So anyway, and just bracelets, beads, those are not great. These are pretty little cat's eye. Aren't they pretty? I love them, and they're on. they're not on stretchy. They're real pretty. And they're glass. And this is a stone necklace. And I've just got to fix it. It, It's come unattached. I've got to fix it. But it's natural stones. And it's real pretty. The, uh, the brown is natural stones. And the blue are. They feel like halite. They might be turquoise beads. But I think they're halite. Just because they're too uniform. But then the other beads are all glass. So, anyway, it's really pretty. But it, it just came, the little thingy came undone from the, from the thing where it hooks together. So, I got to add it back on. So, not a hard, not a hard thing to do. I liked this. And y'all know, this one was a stretch for me because I don't like piano wires necklaces and I don't like beads but that is very nice necklace those greens I like green green is a favorite color for me so anyway I thought that was pretty and this one is really pretty too but it's asymmetrical asymmetry messes with my y'all remember when I cut my hair asymmetrical that didn't last long did it so hey Darlene Buckland how are you so anyway and that's Mother of Pearl. They're faux beads. But I still haven't got into the pretty bracelets yet. Some more. Gra Spit it out, Cindy. Glass, crystal. Glass and crystal beads. Dude. Say that together three times real fast. This is a pretty necklace. It's brand new. It still has the sensor tag on it. They're plastic beads, but it's pretty. Like Margaret says, there's somebody out there that's going to like that. These are nice. They, too, will go into my Etsy store. 
y'all, I am I'm really con going to concentrate on trying to get my Etsy store selling jewelry. I mean, I have some pieces listed over there. Okay, how many times am I, are you going to wrap that around there? That's a, a soft peach colored faux pearl graduating pearl necklace. Hey, my Skywatch. How are you, Robin? Did you have a Merry Christmas, honey? So, yes, it quit raining. We got two and a half inches of rain here, darling. I don't know how much you guys got, but we got two and a half inches, and our yard was already soggy. That's cute. Just a little Y necklace. Here's some more really pretty beads. These look handmade to me just because of the fasteners. But the those are pink quartz. All quartz beads looks like really pretty. So you sold two, two Christmas brooches on Etsy. And I got a bunch of Christmas stuff in the other day. I mean, on. And this is pretty. Isn't that pretty? That'll go on Etsy. Just faux lavender colored pearls. I like this. And for me to say I like beads. But you know what? Ooh, it would match my this. Okay, it would match that, wouldn't it? Almost. No, nope, they're different colored. Okay. But that's pretty with the crystal around it. It's pity. It's pity. These are cool. They're glass. They're Halloween. They're really unique beads. There's a bat on the side of that one. There's dots and stuff on them. I think they're cool. So it is when I, I just went to the bank. I just got out and went to the bank and it was 56 degrees here already. My husband is out walking. I pulled this off of a broken strand of beads. But this, what was neat to me about this is, it's, it's first of all, it's a, it's a box clasp. And I save these. I don't know if y'all do or not, but I save these. Anyway, so on this side is rhinestones. So that's pretty. But on this side, it has a pearly side. So I've never seen a double-sided box clasp like that. So it still has a wire on it. So, And I was so excited when I saw this. And then when I read it a little bit closer, my excitement waned. But it's still cool. And I'm still going to try to sell it. Uh, here, I was looking for the other one. There's actually two of them. There's this one. And it's a uh, 10 karat gold filled. And it's a world. And it's got a little rhinestone in it. And then this one just said, it says, 10 carat, but then I looked later and it says 120th of 10 carat. So, and it's a, a door knocker and it says Avon Colin, and they're both Avon award pendants. So, I thought that was really neat. So, anyhow, this is another one of those uh, P R A O L S necklace uh, bracelets that you create yourself, and it had a little Christmas tree on it with these really beautiful glass beads. So that's pretty. This was a really pretty crystal beaded bracelet with the little heart thing. 10 to 15 inches of snow. Hey, Cherry Berry. You love the brooch. So I am not a bad girl. I love to give things away. So look, I love that. Isn't that pretty? That is pretty. Hey, that matches what I got on. So, kind of matches my... I like that. I likes it. I likes it. So, so anyway, there's some more beads. That's got a... I'm afraid to pull too hard because I'm afraid it's a string. Anyway, little yellow beads with uh, crosses. Um, another little tin bird i thought these were pretty and i thought this right here was very pretty for beads i thought it was really pretty it's got a lot of sparkle to it it's just stretch but it's pretty let's see oh and this is a clamper bracelet 
And the rest of it is just really kind of junky stuff. These are uh, starfish earrings. And it, there's, I know, I'm pretty sure they're Avon. Because I have a pair of these in the box. Still from Avon. In one of my stores. I can't remember which one. But a lot of this is just tangled. Now this was pretty. And I thought it might be um, silver. But it wasn't. Has that little fish with the little yellow. This the crosses have the little yellow and the little beads, but it, it is stretch. And I'm trying not to stretch it too much because it looks like it might be weak. Um uh, this was interesting. It's a, a wraparound ring, and on the inside of it it says plated. So anyway. And then there was bunches and bunches and bunches of chains in here. Bunches of chains. And I've done hung up a bunch of chains. But when it comes to bunches of chains in a big box, it means a lot of un untangling. This little butterfly pendant was neat. And he's supposed to go over there with all the other butterflies that get saved. And I was so disappointed there was only one of these. And that, to me, that has a Betsy Johnson look. But there's no BJ or anything on it. But she likes to group up. Here, be still, be still. She likes to group up stuff like that. So, anyway, so. So, hey, Anna. You have the starfish earrings. Yeah, I have. I have one pair of them still in a box. Hey, Dave, I'm doing a video. So. Okay. So, lots of just jumbly mess in here. Oh, this was another one that had really pretty unique beads. And then it has a rhinestone infinity circle. So, but... Just, I mean, you know, when you hope for something so bad, and I was really hoping I would find James Avery was coming from Texas, but I didn't, but it's okay. I, I found enough to make the money back on it, so I'm happy with that. I just, one of these days, I will find James Avery. I, get, I have friends that live in the Houston area, besides all the people that do uh, um, videos, but I mean, besides my internet friends. I have friends that, uh, in fact, some of mine and Dave's best friends that we used to run around with moved to, they live out on Lake Conroe. And so they're always telling us to come visit them. I may have to go visit just so I can go buy me a jewelry jar in Texas. So see if I can find me a, a thing. So anyway, so shop Goodwill near you, Thelma. So. Anyhow, I'm not, uh, where did I, Shop Goodwill, Corpus Christi, Texas, from Shop Goodwill. Yep, it come from Corpus Christi, Texas, is what it, that it said on the thing, it said, um, Shop Goodwills of the, of South Texas, and then when it came to me, it said Corpus Christi, so, um, there's another one of those, <sighs> They're not really hematite. They just are almost mirrored. Mirrored beads. Maybe that's what I'm the word I'm looking for. for mirrored beads. Anyway. But uh, um yeah, uh, like I said, the only silver that I found was I found that uh oh. Now I found a whole bunch of barrel beads, like Pandora style barrel beads. And oh boy, my husband says. Here's a little bear, but I also found one that was a Mickey Mouse head that was really, really cute. So, there, there are a bunch of nice earrings in here that I've got to match up. Little ones that just need matched up. But, uh, uh, there's a whole bunch of the vintage clippies, too. And there's a whole bunch of beads. There was some broken beads down in the bottom of it. So, anyway, but, yeah. It was okay box. I mean, it was huge, huge volume. That don't go in there. I had that in there poking holes in 
in uh, in cards. So you fixing to eat you some lunch, Dave? Yeah. So he just came in. He he walks. He likes to walk, and so usually when he walks, I do videos. So he just came in from his walk. So anyway, it is beautiful here, y'all. The sun is shining. What's Jude Direct saying? I have a James A and Free Charm. Oh, that's pretty. That's nice. You know, I bought a James Avery ring, the Song of Solomon ring, and somebody sized it, and they done a very sloppy job on it. But I love the ring, so I'll wear it anyway. But my, my next goal is just to find it in the wild, to find it in a jewelry jar. So, But i tell you what I did do, because James Avery is not something that you see a lot here in my area anyway. And so what I did was I went on jamesavery.com and I ordered one of their catalogs so I can study their catalogs. My Christmas was great. Uh, it was very, very low key. Uh, we haven't even had Christmas with my brother's family. We won't do it until January the 8th. So, um, um, but yeah, it was real low key. So, um, we spent Christmas Eve day with my mom and, uh, and she cooked. Wow. I've, I don't think I've bid from North Florida. I'm not sure, Cindy. Anyway, so I got the catalog. I'm going to study it um, just to help me recognize things that, because I don't know it. You know, what I know about James Avery is what I've learned from watching Thelma and Margaret find it like that. Did y'all see Margaret find that James Avery charm ring? I would have thought that was garbage. And because she knew what it looked oh, like. And, oh, Four, three. I would probably put it in for three. three. Yeah. That's roast beef, right? Okay. Yeah. I would put it in for three minutes. So anyway, so Hey Dia, how are you? So I'm going to study that catalog when it comes. Uh, um, I got several pieces of Dreamland jewelry in, and I really, really like them. And they sent catalogs, and I really like their catalog. So there's some jewelry in it I want to get. So anyhow, so but uh, um, I uh, like I said, nothing. You save all your catalogs. So. Cool. Hi, Dave. Darlene says hi. So, yeah. So, uh, but see, there, like I said, uh, I would have never recognized that one ring. My, my friend Darlene, here he comes. Hi. Hi, Dave. <laughs> so, anyway, but, uh, uh, man, we've got to get our eating back on track. Ooh, so. Man. I'm doing good. I have a real bad headache today. So I saw a diagram the other day that showed if your headaches were like, if they're like right in here, that that's more indicative of a migraine. If they're in the back of your head, it's more indicative of hypertension. And then it showed, um, it showed a, it was a whole chart that showed a whole bunch. But uh, I figure most of my headaches come from lack of caffeine. Because I'm, I'm trying to wean back on my caffeine. Uh, I don't drink pops at all. I do not drink sodas. But, uh, yeah, my husband does. He'll drink a soda any chance he gets. But I don't drink them. But we have went all decaf tea. And then uh, uh, I, I was like, no way. I've got to have a little bit of caffeine. So we added we add one caffeinated tea bag to each gallon that we make. So... Anyway, so that helped a lot, but we drink decaf coffee. So anyhow, so but uh, um, so I think I thought this was a really cool cross. It came. I really feel like it probably came off of a rosary. Oh, let me hold it up because it has this little tube attachment to it. But I think the cross is beautiful. So, but it doesn't have anything on it. But I thought it was a beautiful cross. There were a lot of crosses in this lot. A whole lot of crosses. And a lot of, of bracelets. Lots and lots of bracelets. 
and ear bobs. That's what we call them, ear bobs. Do y'all call them ear bobs? That's really pretty, but it's plastic. This is plastic as it can be. So, hey, Elizabeth England. So, well, see, we are we are going out of town on Sunday. We're going out of town. We're going to Branson. Y'all know us. We're going to Branson. Uh, and my son is going. My sister-in-law is going. And my great-nephew is going. I think my great-nephew is going. But uh, he's been invited. So, anyway, we're going. We're just going for New Year's. Going for New Year's Eve, really. We're going to um, take games and play games. And we're going to take breakfast food. And, no, we're not going to see no shows. We're going to take breakfast food and make chocolate gravy for breakfast and uh we're gonna make cookies and just have a time to visit because we didn't do christmas with my sister-in-law this year um we didn't get together with her so we're gonna do that anyway okay slam dunk the T A A S, the Taz. Okay, I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> so, anyway, here's a there's a whole bunch of these little pins in here. I I I've gotten to checking the little pins better so that if any of them are gold, but no, so, so far no gold. So, anyway, all I found in this was gold filled. So, yeah, chocolate gravy. Do you guys not eat chocolate gravy in Texas? Who's performing in, in Branson this weekend? There will be, I mean, they have lots of shows, but some of them have already started shutting down for the season. So, okay. Chocolate gravy is like a thick chocolate pudding, homemade chocolate pudding that is served warm with butter and biscuits. And you serve it with butter and biscuits. And we eat it with sausage and, and bacon. You eat it on pancakes? We don't eat it on pancakes. We eat it on biscuits. So, anyway. So, have you guys ever ate tomato gravy? They make tomato gravy in Mississippi. We ate it when we lived in Mississippi. So, it's good. So, so yeah. Tomato gravy is real good, too. Tomato gravy, yeah. Chocolate gravy is yummy. And uh, different people make it in different ways. My great, My grandmother made made it with water dave's mom made it with milk and so when you make it with milk it's a little bit richer than it is uh with um water so but uh, i normally make mine with milk too so tomato gravy is uh the way that I, they did it in mississippi when they made it for us was they made a roux your flour and, and oil and cooked it until the flour was cooked. And then they added a can of crushed tomatoes in it and then just cooked it down. Oh, my gosh, Adam, chocolate gravy is yum. I mean, it's like yum, yum. So you've had peanut gravy from Minnesota. So anyway, but, but tomato gravy is good. Uh, they just cook it down until it's good, and then you eat it on biscuits too. So... You're making a biscuit and gravy, hash browns, and sausage casserole. So we had um, bacon, egg, and cheese uh, biscuits this morning from McDonald's. Uh, we've uh, we usually eat eggs and bacon or eggs and sausage for breakfast. So, but I didn't get up and cook breakfast. I knew I had to go to the bank this morning. So anyway, got up and got scooting. So. I dropped some earrings. Oh, and another thing. Oh, this was in this was in my uh, in that law, and I'm keeping it. Y'all remember those uh, crystal earrings that I got that were little Christmas trees that were the green and clear. I'm keeping this to wear my, with my crystal earrings. But another thing that was in this lot was spoons. This one here is a great. I believe it's a grapefruit spoon, uh, and it's Oneida. But look, somebody has obviously dropped acid on it, testing it, because look at that white. It's been ruined. So, 
anyway but it does say onato but it's not silver or anything so italians call spaghetti sauce yes gravy uh Now, who's hungry? And then this little spoon, isn't it cute? It has a, a Dutch windmill on it, and it says Holland across it. So, it was in the box, too. So, so well, Dave's in there eating roast. Y'all want some roast? What do you got? Beans. Oh, you got beans instead of roast? You didn't realize you had beans? No, I love that roast for me. It got me waxed over and everything. Well, and well it had ham in it so you still got meat and meat. for listen no grapefruit spoon is pointy huh so is it a seafood spoon of some kind maybe fruit serving spoon grapefruit spoons are smaller okay april i was wrong i told april i thought it was a grapefruit spoon anyway um so on christmas day my my dad's family all meet out at the fairgrounds and we have a potluck and so for my dishes that i made potluck i made a a huge pan a huge crock pot full of pinto beans with ham and then i fried my i have a 14 inch cast iron skillet i fried it full of fried potatoes and i made cornbread and i made a uh, peach crumble so um most of my stuff got eight i had a few beans left none of the fried potatoes were left so to uh, to my family for us that was a treat because we don't eat that because it's so carby so it's something we don't eat very much so for me and dave and and jared and my mom it was a treat so anyway but uh um so you know what uh i don't know if it's just because I live in a state where it's not so, um, I don't know, we're not, I don't live in a rich area. I don't live in a very rich area. I live in a, a, a low economic area. But at no point have I ever gone into any of the stores in my area and it's been busy this season. Not like it was when I used to work in retail it was uh anyway so it was not busy so so i don't i think i don't know if i showed this to you guys or if it was just april that i showed it to you um oh i i shop at aldi's all the time we have aldi's in fort smith and i shop there but what do y'all think this is i think it's some kind of a a guitar pick it looks like a ring but it's metal I think it may be like a steel guitar pick. What do you think? I think it's a guitar pick. What do you think? It came in a jewelry jar for what it's worth. And I really think it's a guitar pick. I meant to show that to my son and ask him if he know. You know what? I do know. I, I have a friend that her husband makes steel guitars. I bet. Oh. Make eggnog cornbread or pancakes. Ooh. See now, you could eat beans and, and cornbread every day. So that would be that would be rough on my tummy. So too many people and too much traffic. Well, I live in a town with a population of four thousand. So uh, now when we go to Fort Smith, Fort Smith is the second largest town. Maybe a banjo pick. That's that's a good idea. A banjo. So what would I, if I'm giving it stars, I would probably give it four stars. Probably four. There was. Even still guitar picks. I mean, it's pretty thin. They wear metal picks too. Or still guitars. So, anyway, I don't know what it is. It came in a jewelry jar. It has music symbols on it. So, what looks like music symbols? I don't know. Anyway, it's not important. 
So, yeah, I would say four and a half. I mean, there wasn't a lot of broken stuff. Now, there was a lot of beads in it that were that were broke off of something else, but they didn't come off of, there were, yeah, four out of five stars at them. So uh, that's how I'm used to doing reviews like that on Amazon because uh, I, I reviewed books for so long. You gave four out of, you gave five stars possible. So look here, I found this in, it came in something. It wasn't in this box, but it was a whole, it's a whole box, a whole little bag of, of uh, Western charms. And this is a, a little, that looks like a little deer, but. It's got spur, be still, be still, a spur, cowboy boot, a horse, a horse, cowboy hat, I'm dropping them, a uh, horseshoe, a detar. My kids always called them detours. And another horse and a, uh, you know, one of those um, steer heads. Anyway, I have a really cool uh, charm bracelet. I'm probably going to put those on. So, anyhow, but charms precious. From Arizona today. Speaking of coffee, yeah. Well, I vegged out Cherry Berry on uh, Food Network TV watching um, cooking shows, those contests. So, I totally. Seriously, that came fast, Anna. So, because I mailed that on Christmas Eve. You got that really fast. So, so uh, Amazon equals AZ. So. You have things coming from Amazon today. So, anyway, I didn't buy anything from Amazon this year. And I normally always shop on Amazon, but I just did not buy much from Amazon this year. So, anyway, I love, I like to make up recipes, but I don't like entering contests. So, that means, that means having to, there, I'm trying to get to my mouse. That means having to, uh, to go and, make i mean making up recipes for me is you know if we don't like it then i just rake it out i don't want people critiquing it so anyway well that's cool i'm glad it came so fast so so anyway you wish you knew how to make slideshows for your youtube it's not hard um uh, i use my um uh, you received your packages and plan to open on your birthday. You, are you talking about packages I sent you from the last auction? You are good. When is your birthday? To hold on to them. Uh, oh, cool. Good morning, Patricia. How are you? Um, Cherry Berry, you can use your camera. Like your camera on your on your computer, if you upload them on a computer, you can use your camera and go into create, and it gives you an option to create slideshows. But there's also a lot of of uh, free create slideshow things. So you have Delhi Allenware and a Mac. Dell Allenware and a Mac. So okay, I still bet you could still do it. So. But uh, move, use Movie on Mac or Windows Movie on a PC. So you, there, Al, Adam said use Movies on Mac and make a slideshow. Just just like you're doing, going to make a movie, only instead of using video, you would just upload all your pictures. And then you can back it with music if you want or... What I do, instead of backing it with music on my computer music, I use um, music from um, YouTube because I know that the YouTube music, 
I can use. Every time I try to use music from my computer, it tells me I'm violating copyright laws. So, anyway. So, yeah, it's not, I don't think it's hard. I still think it, it's just a matter of going into your, to your photo editing, movie editing, and just start dragging your pictures in and making you a slideshow. So, but you got to understand, this is the kind of thing I do all the time. I make slideshows. I make uh, memes and graphics and all that for, for the lady I work for. So, one of your dopey brothers. <laughs> so, learn as you go. There you go, Thelma. <sighs> so, that's what we do. We learn as we go. So, I... I'd have never dreamed I'd been making YouTube videos. So, anyway, so guys, I just wanted to come in and show y'all that. Not this coming Monday, that's New Year's Eve, but the next Monday on uh, January the 7th, April is going to have an auction. So, then the next week I'll be having my auction. But uh, I'm doing one a month, so I'm going to try to make it a special auction. If you missed my purse pop up sale, I still have all three of those bags available. They're brand new bags. There's a Vera Bradley still has tags on it. There is a Bueno bag that still has tag on it and a Sag Harbor. It does not have tags on it, but it still has its little cards in its ID thing. So anyway, so uh, um, right, Cherry Berry. If you use music, use it from YouTube, and they'll include your they'll include the thingies in it. So. Anyway, so, but I still have those three bags available, so if you're interested in those, just shoot me a message, and we can talk. We can make a deal, so I want to get some bags sold. I've got a bunch of purses that's got to go, and uh, y'all would be real proud of me. I worked on my shipping area a little bit. It's still a mess over there, but it's got to go. I mean, it's got to be, it looks better, so anyway, so have a happy New Year's, Mary. So, and I'm going too. So you guys all have a good one and I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye.